India is all set to deploy the Agni-5 nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile at strategic locations in the next two months. The DRDO is also working on a land-based variant of the 3,500 km range K4 SLBM in canisterized configuration to replace the older Agni-2 variant. The DRDO have also abandoned its previous plan to develop a MERF-capable Agni-5 Mark II variant, and will develop a land-based variant of the MERF-capable 5,000 km range K5 SLBM. The K6 SLBM has already been sanctioned by the government, and its range will extend to 10,000 km with a lighter payload of 1 ton. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has also indicated that after the development of a hypersonic cruise missile system, the DRDO will develop a hypersonic glide missile that will not only dodge anti-ballistic missile systems, but it will also have a hybrid flight trajectory with further scope for MERF capabilities. The lease and cost of naval utility helicopters mentioned by Indian and foreign companies varied from 40 lakh rupees per month for each helicopter to 3.4 crore rupees per month. After evaluating responses from over a dozen Indian and foreign companies for leasing 16 to 24 naval utility helicopters, the Indian Navy has decided to release a detailed request for information, as it has decided to lease only new naval utility helicopters from original equipment manufacturers for a two-year period, which means that the Navy will lease from original equipment manufacturers and not Indian helicopter operators. The AS-565 Panther helicopter of Airbus is considered to be the front-runner for both leasing and the overall plan for 111 naval utility helicopters under make in India. The Cabinet Committee on Security is all set to give the final approval to the Project 75 Alpha, under which three nuclear-powered submarines will be built in the first stage. That will be followed by approval for another three submarines at a later stage. Each submarine will cost around 15,000 crore rupees, and officials have said that the first indigenous SSN submarine will roll out by 2032, and funding will not be a major problem, because it will be spread over several years. Top officials have said that the Maritime Command and the Air Defence Command will be fully operational by 15 August and will be announced by Prime Minister Modi on Independence Day. The Air Defence Command will control all the aerial assets of the three armed services and will be responsible for protecting military assets from airborne threats, while the Maritime Command will be responsible for the security of the Indian Ocean region. National Aerospace Laboratories and MESCO Aerospace have rolled out its Hansa New Generation Trainer, that will start its flight tests later this year, and will meet the latest requirements of the flight training schools. MESCO would also establish a service center for Hansa aircraft, and will also undertake marketing in India and abroad. The Special Forces of India and US have concluded the 11th edition of joint exercise, that included joint mission planning and operational tactics to improve interoperability between the two special forces.